All right, I've got the new Blade 200 QX. Just came in this afternoon and bound it to my uh, DX8 here. And we'll go ahead and give it a maiden flight, a little on the fly review. Can't really see the LEDs here in the daylight. But, and I think it did say it was about 11 mile an hour wind. It looks pretty calm right now. But, uh, so first you've got your F switch, your F mode switch, uh, the green light in the back means it's on stability low angle, blue is stability high angle, and red is agility mode. So we'll start on the lowest one, put it on 70% rates, and to start you move both sticks into the inside corners and then let them go, and the blades will start spinning. You, don't, you can't stop the blades with the throttle, you have to use throttle hold. So we'll go ahead and start her up. And there it goes. So you see I'm not doing anything and the blades are spinning. So let's lift her up. Oh wow. You can already tell it is insanely stable. Oh my gosh, this thing flies nice. Let's uh, change it to high angle stability. There we go. That's more my style. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. Oh my gosh, I'm already in love with it. Let's bring it in close for a little stable hover there. Sounds nice, little brushless motors on there. And I'm not gonna try any flipping or anything in agility mode yet. Huh? I don't want to destroy it on my first flight. So there's full, that's 100% rudder pirouettes there. It's like the wind sending it off a little bit. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. Plenty of kick, I don't even think I'm at half throttle. Woo! That was maybe three-quarter throttle. I don't even want to go full speed in this small area. Oh my gosh, this thing's got some kick. Here, let's do some uh, throttle punch from a hover. Alright, and kick it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this thing, this thing has some power. It was nice and stable on the descend there too, no wobbling. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this thing's awesome. I don't think you're going to have any problem fighting wind with this thing. And they did remove the uh, the ability to reverse the motors and fly upside down, but I hear it's coming out in a firmware release. Uh, but I believe you've got to buy a little USB dongle in order to update the firmware. And I already tried my, uh, I put it, the Mobius on there just to see if it fit, and the bottom is pretty much the exact perfect size to mount a Mobius on there. So I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of aerial videos with this, and it's definitely got the power to lift the Mobius, that's no problem. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. So you can see that's the wind pushing it over there, but that's just a tiny little bit of input to get it to fight the wind. No problem at all with the wind. Let's uh, try 100% rates. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I don't even want to go full speed, it's so fast. This thing is a powerhouse. Oh, now the wind's kicking up. 
Still no problem fighting the wind. Just giving a little bit of input there to kind of hover it into the wind. No problem at all. So you can see if I take my hands off the stick, that's the wind pushing it. But it can fight it, no problem. Rudder rate's not insane, but it, it's good. I wonder if I can dial it up more than 100%. And I'm flying with no expo either. This is just 100% rates, no expo. I was stupid and didn't buy any extra batteries, so I'm gonna have to wait till I charge my battery to get another flight in, but I don't ever want to stop flying this thing. Oh, there comes the timer, just as I was talking about not wanting to stop. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. And then again, you've got to hit throttle hold to stop the blades. And there it is, oh my gosh, I'm in love. That's it, that is the Blade 200 QX, brushless, very cool looking, it's just, it's so cute for no, uh, no better term for it. And I'll definitely be doing some night flights so we can see those cool LEDs inside the body. Alright, well cool, thanks for watching, please subscribe and you'll be seeing plenty more videos of this thing to come.